Welcome to Down and Dirty Plants. This is my spider plant, and I've had her for a while. You can tell she's doing really well. What I would like to show you to start with, because this is another video about propagation, is how it all starts. It sends out these long stalks, and then these beautiful little flowers develop. They're very delicate looking. And then where each of these flowers is, you will get a spiderling or a baby plant. So um, you can tell there were a lot more of these little white flowers earlier. And if you can look back up a teeny bit, you'll see. So where each of these, oh, here's one that you can see is sort of has both. It has a little flower and a spiderling. And each of these will develop into a new plant. You can leave them like this. I actually think they look beautiful like this, but I will be demonstrating how you can take these spiderlings, these little babies, and turn them into um, their own mother plant. This is another variety of spider plant. Um, this is called a bonnie. And I have another bonnie um, downstairs um, that also has leaves that curl like this, but not, these basically corkscrew. I mean, look at how gorgeous that is. But it also, it has, it had a little white blossom. It just lost its blossom. And you can see the little spiderling developing. And this one also has lots of babies that are gonna get ready to um, be replanted and make their own. Look at how cute those are. Welcome back. Um, I'm getting ready to cut some of these little spiderlings off and put them in water so that I can then get them started um, propagating. The ones that have these little, you can see some little roots start, you'll have more success with those. So I will take that one. And I believe there was one over here. Yes, this one as well. I like to start these in little bundles. And then when I plant them, they're already, you know, have it like a nice fullness. Um, there was a nice big one here. That one. This one. And we'll do one more. Let's see, I believe. Yes, I guess this one. Okay, and then I also want to get some over um, here. I've not had her very long, but she has some pretty well-established spiderlings. This one, you can see some of the little roots that are growing. Definitely will take this one. And I love how these look too, so I don't like to take too many, but um, take that one. Oh, and there's a nice sized one here. Whoa. Uh. Try not to drop them. Oh yeah, and look at, you can see the roots right here as well. They're getting started. Okay. All right, and I'll go down and get these in water. Okay, let's get these cuttings into some water. I've chosen a few different containers. Um, I thought these narrow necked ones might work well for these. That one is perfect. I'd actually be able to get another one next to that. Oh, let's see here. Actually, I'm thinking these may just need to go all together in here. Yeah, there we go. I may even put that one in there too, just so they're all in one place. I keep these little containers filled with water right at eye level. The way my kitchen is set up, my breakfast bar is right above my sink and that way I can keep an eye on the water level and also um, how clean the water is because you do want to make sure that you're not just watching for the fun roots to start growing but also to make sure the water is nice and clean and uh, full full to the top so that the part that needs to be underwater is okay and then I thought these little bonnies would go well in Oh, this is actually two. All right, let me just separate these out. Okay. 
Oh dear, well maybe that would go in here better. Oh my gosh, look how adorable that looks. All right, let's see here. This, it's hard to see where the roots are because of the curly, curly leaves. All right, let's put these in here. And let's put that in there. Okay, and I would love to get both of these in one container. There we go. So I think that will work. This needs a little more water, I believe. Oh, it actually needed a lot of water. Okay, I'll have to really watch this one because it wants to stay submerged. And then I'll just keep an eye on these three. And once the roots start growing, I'll see you back here. Okay, um, update on the spider plant cuttings. As you can see, this is well rooted as are these and these. These two are the Bonnies, and then this is the, just a regular variegated brand. It's a, a species that's really beautiful. Um, I've left these way too long, actually. In fact, I hope that they will be okay. I'll have to really watch them carefully. Really, once they get a root system on like this, they're so used to getting what they need from the water that they're going to have a hard time um, getting acclimated to the soil. So what I'm going to do is um, really keep it well watered for the first couple of weeks, especially until I start seeing some growth. So I have some soil in here. It's just a mix of potting soil and some perlite. That's the perlite that I use. They're, I think they're all the same, really. Um, I don't really know what organic perlite would be in any case. But... Um, in any case, I have some soil in here. I've left a lot of room just because I have such um, a solid root system on here. And then I'm going to fill it in with some soil around it. Um, and I'll be right back. Okay, so there you go. This one's in its pot. Um, when I, what I'll do now is water it really thoroughly until the water just runs freely through the drainage holes. And again, I can't stress enough, you really need those drainage holes in the bottom for healthy plants. And then this can be placed in another pot, you know, that doesn't. Like I have this one set aside, and it has um, just some uh, plastic in there. And it's a little bit of a big pot, a uh, big pot that I can set another one on the inside of it and then put it in there. So in any case, that one is more or less good to go. I now would like to um, work on this little guy. This one is actually for a friend of my youngest daughter's. She has two friends actually that are really getting into house plants and so I've been giving them babies to take care of. So this is for one of her friends that does not yet have a spider plant. So basically I'll just, sorry, I'm not doing a very good job with the camera work. Um, Usually I have my, one of my daughters hold the camera while I try to do this, but they are both busy right now. So, in any case, it's really not that big a deal. You just, I, I started out with some soil in the bottom, and then I set, oh, now this, you have to be careful to see that root. I need to redo that. So not all these roots got put in there. So you do want to make sure that you get all the roots in the soil. And because, like I said, I really left these too long before I potted them. I should have potted them before. Their root systems are really long. Okay, there we go. That's better. So I have those in there, and I'll just fill in soil, and I'll be right back. Okay, here they are. Um, this is the larger one all potted up. This is the little one. And of course, since they've just been repotted, like I said before, because you're trying to acclimate them to um, soil versus just water, you need to keep them really well watered um, to begin with. And these especially, because the roots were so, they've been in water for such a long time. And I have a couple of others that I'm gonna actually put in the mail to a friend, just mail it, um, just bare root. And this one I'll pot up as well for another friend of my um, youngest daughters. So in any case, I hope that if you have chosen to propagate your spider plants, they're so much fun. This probably should have been the 101 propagation video. Um, growing up, we almost always had these on our windowsills. My mom was forever um, 
you know, propagating spider plants. And they are so easy to do, and it's there's such a great payoff when you get your new plants. So um, good luck with your propagations.